Clover News. Clover News Sports. y'all doing today um we uh looking at a couple of things going on in the college uh playoffs or college football world and a couple of things i wanted to address the first thing i want to address is um hearing that utah uh could possibly be going to the big uh, 10 or whatever. That's just a lot of smoke. And what, what what I mean by that is baloney. It's a lot of baloney, a lot of pork, a lot of ham, whatever you want to call it. It's not beef. It's not 100% beef. You know, it's not authentic. And here's why. Let me unfold a, a several reasons why that ain't happening now it's safe to say in the privacy of communications between uh utah and the big 10 of course we know that utah asked request applied to go to the big 10 and they got feedback from that and unfortunately it was a hard no and what does that mean okay this is why it's a hard no Big Ten selected the four brands that they wanted to add to their conference. And yes, they had the opportunity. Let's not forget, they had the opportunity to add Utah if they wanted Utah. By all means, first they added UCLA and USC, and then they had the opportunity to add Utah the second round. But no, they selected Washington and Oregon, and Oregon period. And they could have expanded even more so. After that, they could have grabbed Utah with Washington and Oregon. That didn't happen. Also, the Big Ten is focused on what's going to happen to the ACC. The Big 12 is focused on what's going to happen to the ACC. The SEC is focused on what's going to happen to the ACC. The Pac-12 is done, period. Now, Moving forward, as I mentioned, that Power 3 conference with the rotations of schools uh, fluctuating amongst the three and like a trade type of thing, a team trade uh, situation, that's more likely. But far as Utah just outright going to the Big Ten, no. They would have been there a long time ago if that's the case. So let's put an end to that. And then also, Brett Yormark, the commissioner of the Big 12 mentioned that he wants schools that want to join the conference not to be used as a stepping stone because the Big 12 is not that. And by if this is true, that Utah was bold enough to make a statement like that, I don't know to see if they would ruffle feathers or anything like that. That's not tolerated in the Big 12. And as a matter of fact, that's going to make it to where Utah end up being the team to beat. And that means that they just won't be able to shine. We were at the point to where we probably wanted to give Utah uh, a, a leadership role to where they would be the team to head the Big 12. But if they doing it like that, now they're the team to beat. So God, everyone's going to be looking out trying to defeat Utah, period. They're no longer going to be in the driver's seat because they – if it's not, you know, authentic, it's a good chance that 
they're not going to be let allowed to be leading the conference period so now it just made a big target on their back and everybody's going to want to uh beat utah to keep them at the bottom as a bottom feeder just for even coming out like that and these arrogant bold type of comments that's if allegedly allegedly if that's what happened but once again i just wanted to address that um uh, rumor mill that utah uh potentially will be going to the big 10 or can or whatever the case may be nah they would have been there trust me they would have already been there uh, the big 10 is at 18 teams they got room for two possibly four at the max more teams and i'll say three possibly and uh utah is not one of them once again thank y'all for watching global news sports until next time don't forget to have a great day global news global news global news sports